Australia goes a little something like this. Fuck the police, coming straight out the underground. A young nigga got his bad cause I'm proud. And all the other covers of police think they have the authority to kill a minority. Fuck that shit cause I ain't the one. Okay. In this video we're going to use uh, Backtrack 3 to get a shell on a fully patched XP service pack 3 box as you can see here. Um, file sharing has to be enabled for this exploit to work and simple file sharing has to be disabled which we're going to do right now. Um, as a note, simple file sharing uh, is enabled by default but it is common for businesses and users to disable this option. Um, this option can only be changed in XP Pro, uh, not Home Edition. Um, by di uh, disabling simple file sharing, a user has to enter a username and a password to access any shared folders on that computer. Um, one more thing, the user has to set up a password. It cannot be blank for this to work. So, once that's set, we're going to start off by using Backtrack 3 and we're going to have to write some code. Uh, this is the code here I've already written. Uh, this, co uh, this code is going to be used in uh, EtherCap as a filter to do some ARP poisoning. Uh, this code is for Internet Explorer. There is another code for Firefox. But basically, what this code does is replace any HTML code you want in your target's web page while they surf the Internet and what we've done is set it up so that while the target surfs the internet Internet Explorer is going to try and access a network share in this case an image and while you're going to use and um, we're going to use that to exploit the box um, now you're going to have to um, input your IP address in the code here um, and once you've done that go ahead and save it as smb.filter Okay, now we need to uh, compile the filter for EtherCap to use. So go ahead and open up a command shell. And we're going to type Ether filter smb.filter for the uh, file we just created. Dash O. This is going to be our. Um, output file smb.ef enter and as you can see uh, etherfilter accepted the code so now we need to set up etherfilter to use the filter we just wrote so type ethercap dash t dash q dash f smb.ef dash m ARP forward slash our target's IP. Um, you could use this filter as directed towards a specific target, or you could leave this area blank and it would target the uh, entire network. And forward slash forward slash dash P um, auto add. We're not going to execute this just yet. We need to um, set up Metasploit first. So let's open Metasploit Framework 3 MSFC. Uh, once uh, Metasploit is open, we're going to type uh, show exploits to see a list of uh, exploits.
need to set lhost as your IP address. Um, now let's go back to our computer and see what happened while we were surfing. Um, as you can see, uh, Ethercap uh, filtered out the HTML with our new code to get the target's computer to access a remote share. Um, it said, um, in order for you to get this information, I need to see your credentials. Our computer said, okay, here they are. And we said thank you very much for your username and password and we're going to go ahead and pass that on to Metasploit and Metasploit should give us Um, now we're going to type sessions-l and as you can see we have a command shell type sessions-i1 and there you have it